So, hi. I've been watching a bunch of YouTubes, thanks to Melissa Lowe, um, on acrylic pouring. And so I'll, we were so excited about it, we wanted to try it. So I have everything set up and ready to go. Um, I have in each of these cups all the colors that I want to do. Um, and then what I've done is I've just squirted a little in the cup. I mean, really not a lot, especially because I then added a little bit of um, pouring medium into each. The ratio I did was just from what I've been seeing online. I mean, I did a little squirt of paint and then maybe 20% of whatever paint I put in of pouring medium. So just a couple little dabs of that. And then you thin it with a bunch of water. And the consistency that I've seen online is that you're supposed to just, it's supposed to pour like that, not come off in chunks. So very uh, milky, watery uh, consistency. And then I sprayed a couple of squirts of this silicone spray. Can you see that? Which, <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then I have a torch ready too, because that's the final touch, that's awesome. So, here we go, we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna pour all of these, we'll start with white, just, and we'll do maybe half of it in there. Um, and then let's do the green. See if there's anything else that comes out. All right. I'm just blowing in there in case there's bubbles. I don't know if that does anything, but I don't want bubbles. So here we go. What's my technique? I think I'm just gonna sort of pour. From what I liked, some some people did this and then turned it over and then lifted the cup. I never really liked those, so I think I'm gonna sort of pour. And I've left some in there. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I kind of thought maybe I could get another. And then I'm just gonna, do you know what? I liked when people torched right now then it made these cells and when then you tilt it and makes the cells bigger so oh cool can you see it's kind of awesome so now we want it to run over the sides This is pretty sweet, I gotta admit. There's a clump in there, I can see it. So clumps would be bad, that's no good. This is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm loving my color choices. Just gonna make sure all my sides are covered. And I don't think it's a big deal to have your fingers on this because it kind of just covers after. Okay. There. Okay. That is awesome. I don't know if you can see that, but that is pretty amazing. I love that. <laughs> okay, I always liked the YouTubes that the people were very happy and joyous about what they created, so I can see why, because that's pretty awesome. That turned out so cool. I'm loving this light, light green in there. 
Okay, so that was pretty amazing. I love the way it turned out. The colors are awesome. I'm so glad I chose the colors I chose. I feel like the cells that they talk about are looking very cool. So I'm gonna show you a close up and then I'm gonna to torch it again and we'll see what happens. Isn't that awesome? I mean, so cool. So I'd have to say for a first time doing this, that looks incredible. I'm loving it. Okay, so I'm gonna try and torch this thing again. Okay, I don't really see too much going on. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't know. I'm fine. I think it looks awesome the way it is. Oops. So yeah. I don't know about those little bubbles. I think my second torching did that. Those little dots. Love it. Okay, so there you go. I will probably um, try and show this again when it's dry. Man, that is cool, isn't it? Love it. Okay, there you go. That was pretty sweet. Love this. This is a four by four, by the way. I love this brown part. I love this green streak here. All this aqua in this corner. Okay, so round two, I had a little bit of uh, leftover paint in my pouring cup. I don't think it was quite enough to do another four by four canvas. So what I did was I took my white canvas and I um, smeared it on my spilled from my last pour just to kind of give it a bit of a first coat. Maybe that'll help the pour smooth over the rest easier. We'll see, but I thought I'd film it and show you. So it's totally ugly right now, but I basically took this canvas. It's not all covered, but maybe it'll help. And I just kind of smeared it on here. And maybe I'll even Okay, well, we'll let that be our we'll let that be our base before the pour. Okay, so again, these are my colors: green, brown, white, dark blue, a couple of lighter blues, tills, torch. This is left over from that pour. These are four by four canvases. So let's just see what happens. Okay. And like I said, I like to torch it now. And then spread it. So there's a interesting group happening right there. Now I'm going to tilt. Sorry, not all of it was in the frame, but it was hard to do with one hand. Okay, well, I'm loving that one too. I'm just going to touch these 
sides to make sure they're covered. Awesome. This is sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Love it. Man, look at that. That is neat. Man, this one, it's funny, it's the same pour cup, but because it was the bottom of the paint, I got different colors coming through on this one. This one's more white. And look at that awesome blue coming through right there. Ooh, that white. This area right here is like the coolest. Again, these are like four by four canvases. Cause this is my this is my second one. I didn't want to do this on a giant one in case it took more expertise, but it's these are my first time doing it, and I'd say they're kind of amazing. So there you go, don't be afraid to try this. Awesome. Love it. Man, I love that cascades over the edge. They look awesome with some shine, and I think they'll dry kind of matte, obviously. It's acrylic paint. So I, I think a varnish on top after they're dry would look amazing. But, man, they are so cool. I still love this, like, lightning area right there. It looks like lava. But wow, these are awesome. Okay, so these are dry now. It was just overnight, so it didn't take much. I was worried they just wouldn't look as cool when they don't have the wet shine to them, but I think they still look awesome. There's a little bit of texture in there from air bubbles, but I mean, look, you can't really see that. They look really cool still and I still want to maybe do a high gloss varnish on them so you bring it out this was my leftover I just decided to spill it onto some paper but anyway there you go this is what they look like dry I just put them on cups so some air could come up and but underneath and dry them out all right there you go